Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video called How It Was at Windridge. So, Windridge is my sleepaway camp. I thought it was really fun. The shortest time is 10 days and the longest is two weeks. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, parents, um, if you're planning on sending your kids to sleepaway camp, I recommend Windridge. It, it's very fun. There are lots of activities. You sign up online. It's in Vermont. Uh, the shortest time is 10 days. The longest is two weeks. So it's either 10 days or two weeks. I forgot when it starts, it's, but you can look that up too. So well, it was really fun. Um, the electives are, so the electives are one period and the majors are two periods. But you can also do double, double golf. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you can't do double double horseback riding. That was my favorite one. If any of your um, sons or daughters are interested in horseback riding, in riding or something, I think they should try it out. Um, they have lessons for beginners, no matter how old they are. Um, well, the trainers aren't professional, but they're. They're really good. And so, they'll give you a tour, like a demonstration and stuff. So, um, how it works is you, they take you to camp. It's in Vermont. Um, then you check in, you get a lice check at the nurse's office. And then you're taken to your cabin. You find out if you're, you're left or right. So there's a boys camp and a girls camp. You, if you're a girl, you can't go in the girl. If you're a girl, you can't go in boys camp unless a counselor or, or gives unless a counselor or tells you to, or it's an activity or something. And if you're a boy, you can't go in girls' camp without. But on the last day, boys are allowed to go in girls' camp and girls are allowed to go in boys' camp. Because, you know, all the cars are stopping off and stuff. So, there's also, that at the end of the um, camp, the, the last three days of camp, um, Tila Games. Tila Games is basically, so you split up into four teams. Navy, Navy, Blue, Green, and Red. I'm a Red. Red, 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 Everybody, Red, 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 Everybody. That's one of our lamest cheers because it's basically just two words. Navy, blue, and green have the best cheers. I think I'm just drifting off into teal again, into how it was at teal games now. So let's get on with the video. Um, so it's really nice. So they have a veggie meal. Well, and so, if if you have an, an allergy or something, you get called up to the dining hall on the first day if you have a special allergy, like a special diet or something. Like, if, you have, if you're allergic to nuts, if you're a vegan, if you're a vegetarian, like, if you have a special diet or something. You get called up to the dining hall on the first day, and you wait in line. So I'll, I'll get on the fun parts of camp. So canteen happens every day after lunch. lunch. So there are privileges. Canteen is a privilege. If your counselor, like if you do something like bad in your cabin or something like, so once upon a time, there was a girl named Daisy. 
me. Well, she, her friends were talking and she had only gotten up to use the bathroom. Then she went back in bed. My counselor caught me standing, going back to my bed. Then she said, go back to bed. That's what I was doing. I just got up to go to the bathroom. And then Layton was walking around the cabin, going up to Layla's bed. Kylie was just, I don't know what she's doing. And Stella, so Layton was sleep talking, one of my friends named Layton. And then she got us all into trouble. It well because it woke us up. And then I woke up to use the bathroom. And then then I got back in bed. And then Taylor was the only one who got canteen because she was sleeping. I only got up to use the bathroom. It was so unfair.